hit record. Thank you. Let me see here. Try to start it again. We're recording. Good evening. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to our general municipal election virtual election information town hall. It's a mouthful, um, but basically we wanted to uh, create a platform where our uh, residents and even if you're not a resident of West Hollywood can get information regarding the upcoming general municipal election. Um, November 3rd, we will be uh, having an election here in West Hollywood along with the presidential election, uh, but we have uh, local candidates as well as a local measure um, and wanted to provide an opportunity for people to join into the Zoom webinar, ask us questions, get the information that they need to make sure that they have a plan to vote. Um, thank you so much to our mayor, Lindsay Horvath. She is here with us tonight. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to uh, push it on over to her and uh, thank you, Mayor, for joining us. Thank you, Yvonne, and thank you to everybody who helped to make this webinar possible. I'm Lindsay Horbath. It's my honor to serve as the mayor of the city of West Hollywood, and I'm so grateful that our fabulous city clerk and her entire team have put this um, webinar together. I know that in this time of COVID, like nothing's normal anymore, and so um, making sure that we had a conversation about how people vote, uh, where people vote, uh, when you can vote, um, um, how that's all working this year is really important. Uh, there's in misinformation out there. There are people creating fake drop boxes. It's all kinds of mayhem going on. And so uh, we wanted to make sure that we uh, were as clear as possible as we could be uh, as a city to help keep you educated and informed about um, how you can participate in voting. Um, this year uh, it, for our general election, for the primary election, we had um, vote centers and the, it was the first time we had digital touch screens. And so that was a whole new experience in March. And we learned a lot. I know that the LA County Registrar learned a lot mm -hmm. and our city clerk has been constantly engaged with the county to make sure that all of the feedback that you've given us um, as a community uh, gets to the county and to make sure that um, it informed how the election happens this November. And so now, as a result, each person uh, who is registered to vote will get email, will get mailed uh, a ballot at the address of your choosing. You have to register at your residential address, but you can get it sent to another address if you like. And in fact, that happened for me today. I got my uh, mail in, uh, my mail in ballot in my, uh, my PO box. And so you just open up the envelope and then inside you will find the envelope that you return it in and you find your official ballot, you can unfold it. It has all these pages and you just uh, fill out um, all, of, uh, all of the information. There are mail drop box locations. You can obviously put it in the mail and uh, use our postal service to uh, have your mail in ballot delivered. But we have three uh, mail, uh, mail in ballot drop box locations in West Hollywood. And um, thanks to our city clerk working with the county, uh, we were able to do that as you might have heard in some news reports, places like Texas, there are some places that only have one box for a region much larger than our city. And so to have three boxes, we wanted to make sure that they were accessible to everyone. Um, you can still vote on election day, but keep in mind that because of COVID um, and our commitment to keeping people safe and healthy, we will continue to practice physical distancing and all of the protocols that LA County is enforcing. So it's just going to be easier if you mail in your ballot early. If you can do that, that uh, that will help a lot of people and, and probably save you uh, the time, the heartache and, and the risk of going out in public and, and uh, having to deal with COVID-19. Um, but whatever way you choose, it's very important that you make a plan to vote. 
our, our studies show that if you make a plan, you are more likely to vote, which means your voice will be heard and your vote will be counted. And that's really important. We know that uh, every year we hear that an election year is a critical year, and this is a critical election, but I think more than ever, uh, this, this election is really gonna tell us a lot. There's a lot on the line and whether you're uh, thinking about the national elections or you're thinking about local elections here in West Hollywood, um, there's a lot for you to be considering. I'm sure you're getting mail in your mailbox, you're getting emails, you're getting texts, you're getting tweets, you're getting Instagram ads, um, all of the things targeting you uh, to educate you about the people who are running and the ballot measures uh, that are on on the ballot. Um, you can always go to lavote.net for more information. Um, I know the city has taken positions on certain uh, ballot measures as well, and you can look to the city for uh, some of those. But um, whatever questions you have, I'm yeah. always available, but uh, more importantly, our city clerk is available to make sure um, that your vote is counted and to answer all of the questions that you might have about what this process is like this year. So thank you all for participating. Thank you for um, engaging and making sure, of course, that you turn out to vote because that is so critically important. It's how we protect our democracy. And I will now turn it back to Yvonne. Thank you so much, Mayor. It is wonderful to have a, a, a mayor that is so engaged um, as you are. Not a lot of city clerks can say that. So I appreciate uh, my mayor knowing her stuff, really just going down the list of things, telling you where the vote by mail ballot drop boxes are, <laughs> where you, you can vote on November 3rd, but you could be safe and vote by mail. Um, so that's really our message um, today. So before we begin, I wanted to um, allow the other people on the panel to introduce themselves. Um, and for those uh, who are not on camera, come on camera so that everyone can see who you are. Um, and we'll start with Melissa um, Crowder, and then we'll go on to um, Tatiana, and then Rocio and Robin Eason. Take it away. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I'm Melissa Crowder. I'm the Assistant City Clerk for the City of West Hollywood. And, you know, the mayor went through everything. So I think <laughs> we don't need to do a presentation. <laughs> It's it's really um, refreshing to have an elected official um, know the um, the facts about voting um, and sharing those facts, which is why we're here with you tonight is to get you accurate information so that you can understand how you can vote this year. So thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. My name is Tatiana Rodzinek, and I'm a Russian Community Outreach Coordinator for, this, for the city, and I'm here today to assist Russian-speaking um, residents of the city if we have any on the call, but I guess if we don't, that will be recorded and the information will be delivered to Russian-speaking constituents. Thank you for having me. You're muted, Rocio. Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> my name is Rocio Martinez and I'm the records management specialist for the city. And my purpose here tonight is to provide anyone with Spanish um, interpretation or translation services during this meeting. Buenas tardes, me llamo Rocío Martínez y estoy disponible para quien necesite traducción en español durante el transcurso de esta conferencia. Hi everyone, my name is Robin Eason. I'm the city's uh, senior sustainability planner and tonight I am here to help out with the Q&A. Happy to be here, thank you. And I just wanna say it's amazing to see all of these powerhouse women leading this conversation. I'm so grateful that all of you are taking time outside of your regular workday uh, to make sure that our community is educated. And um, of course it's led by women, what can I say? <laughs> Yes. Um, thank you so much again, um, ladies, for helping, uh, helping us tonight. I mean, I just want to say I really appreciate people who are outside of the city clerk's division wanting to um, participate. Robin Eason, shout out to Robin Eason. She does not work in the city clerk's office. She does not deal with voters. She, 
she's in that planning bubble. Um, <laughs> and I really appreciate you wanting to help with outreach. And we thought this was a great opportunity. Help us out with the questions. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Melissa has a great uh, PowerPoint presentation to help walk through, walk people through the ways in which you can vote, where you can vote, um, and all of the services that are available to you. So here we go. You. So good evening, everyone. Again, this is our town hall meeting uh, for your November 3rd voting options. Um, it's being hosted by um, our mayor, Lindsay Horvath, and she's with us this evening. Thank you. Um, and your city clerk staff, Yvonne Parker is the city clerk for the city of West Hollywood. And um, I am Melissa Crowder. I'm the assistant city clerk for the city of West Hollywood. So we wanted to first share important dates um, for this election. So the county began mailing out the vote by mail ballots. Some people still refer to them as absentee ballots, but the word, the correct uh, verbiage now is vote by mail. Um, and some actually got them before October 5th and some as the mayor shared got hers today. So they are continuing to come. So if you haven't received yours, please continue to check. Um, and later in this presentation, I will show you a way where you can actually track when the county mailed out your ballot and when you should expect it. Um, so then the next important date for this election is the last day to register to vote, which is October 19th. So every registered voter will get a vote by mail ballot. So if you register October 19th, you'll still get a vote by mail ballot. Um, but if you prefer to vote in person, the large 11 day vote centers will open on October 24th. Um, West Hollywood, we have several um, vote centers. The city is only hosting one vote center itself, which is at Plummer Park Fiesta Hall. And that one will open up on October 30th. So we have a four day vote center. Um, so if you choose to vote in person, that is when ours will open up. And if you wanna go earlier, the larger sites um, are like the Hollywood Bowl and Dodger Stadium, because with COVID we need to allow for social distancing and the 11 day vote centers have different requirements. So those are gonna be the places you'll have to go if you wanna vote October 24th. And then election day is November 3rd and vote centers will be open from seven to eight. <clears throat> so the first thing we always tell people is please check your voter registration status. If you changed units in your building, you need to re-register to vote. If you moved, you obviously need to re-register. If your name changed, if it has been 20 years since you registered to vote, you should re-register to vote, especially if you are going to be voting by mail because how your ballot is verified is with your signature. And if you're like me, your signature has changed drastically from 20 years ago. So we always encourage people to check their voter registration status. So this is the... Um, County Registrar Recorder's website, and I'm going to share this with you. Can you see my screen? Okay, perfect. So it's very simple. You would put in your last name your date of birth, the house number, a zip code, and hit search, and it will come up with um, all of the information. I'm not going to put in my information because it will give you my address. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> um, so, but that's how that would work. And again, we that's always the first step. Please verify your voter registration status, especially if it has been I want to say more than three presidential elections since you have voted, you may go to what they call inactive status. So um, if you check your voter registration, it will show you whether you're an active or inactive voter. Um, and it's very helpful. Vote by mail. So um, the Voters' Choice Act, which was has been implemented in phases over the last five or six years. One of those is it's no longer required to put a stamp on your return ballot if you choose to mail it. Um, we will share where our 
ballot drop-off boxes are later in this presentation, but that is the other thing you can do. You can take it to one of the official <laughs> county ballot drop-off box locations and we'll share those. Or if you want, you can actually take it to a vote center and turn it in at a vote center. So, um, and all of the vote center locations are on the county's website as well. So we just wanna share a brief video with you. Don't think you guys got to see the whole presentation. <laughs> so I realized that a second ago. I apologize. We don't have sound for the video, but. Oh. Okay, so that one's not, Yvonne said play. that there's no sound, so. Um, Again, either if you go to weho.org backslash elections or to lavote.net, um, you can access all of this information as well. So this is what an official County of Los Angeles Dropbox looks like. It is not a gray two bin file cabinet with ballot drop off put on here. It looks just like this um, and uh, we have three locations in West Hollywood to uh, drop off your ballot. That is, there's one on San Vicente. It is right next to the West Hollywood Library. So it's in between Melrose and Santa Monica Boulevard. There is one at City Hall. It is on Sweetser, um, adjacent to the parking structure where the bike racks are. And we have one at Plummer Park Community Center. So at the main entrance to the Plummer Park Community Center, the ballot drop-off box is there. And this is what it looks like. They were opened on October 5th and they will close on election night. So, um, and <clears throat> they're in areas that can be monitored uh, by video. And they, cause I've used one, the one down the street from my house, the because a couple of questions we've got is what if people put trash in there what if people put other stuff in there the slit is literally big enough to fit one envelope at a time so um there's not the likelihood that that would happen and county uh, staff is picking them up every 48 to 72 hours and the last week um, leading up to the election it will be every day so so Ballot Tracker is a new tool that was implemented this year. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, when you just wanna confirm, can you see my screen with the Ballot Tracker? Okay. Um, so when you're tracking your ballot, you would put in you know, your name, your last name, your date of birth and your residence. And I submitted my ballot last Thursday, and I received my email already saying that they have received my ballot. So actually, when my ballot was mailed, I got my first email and a text because I get both. And it said your ballot has been mailed to you and you should receive it. And then I got the email and text, you should have received your ballot. And then we've got your ballot and it's going to be counted. Thank you for voting. So some of the questions that we get asked um, is what happens if um, there's an issue with the signature on my ballot or sometimes what happens <laughs> with uh, married couples is the husband signs the wife's envelope and the wife signs the husband's envelope um, or someone forgets to sign it, then the, you will get um, either an email, a letter or whatever form of communication you've um, told the county you want to be notified by. And they would tell you that there's, 
your signature needs to be checked, you need to sign it. So you will get the ability to correct it. So um, I know that's a concern for some people um, who haven't voted by mail before, and this would be the first time that they're doing it, is how that's accomplished. And so some people still want to go to a vote center and vote, and that's fine. Um, I just want to share we don't any longer have what you most people would refer to as polling locations or precincts where not it's not done that way anymore. Again, part of the Voters Choice Act was to allow people more time to vote beyond one day on the first Tuesday in November on even years. Um, <clears throat> so you get longer time to vote. Um, and you also can go to any vote center in Los Angeles County to cast your ballot. So you would simply tell them your name um, with the, at the uh, first desk and they would be able to pull up your ballot. Um, and so what they will be doing this year is everyone will be required to wear a face mask when you're in there um, and gloves. And if you don't have a face mask, one will be provided to you. Um, all of the um, poll workers or vote center workers will also be wearing um, masks and gloves. They will be sanitizing the ballot marking devices between each voter using them. They will have hand sanitizer there. Um, all of the machines will be spread out more to uh, accommodate the six feet of social distancing. So they they have a plan um, and that's how they're, they're going to be implementing it. Um, as the mayor shared at the beginning, um, if you do choose to do the in-person voting at a vote center, we would encourage you to do it before election day um, because I would anticipate that the lines will get long on election day. So if you're gonna do it, you can start anytime October 24th, or if you want to stay in West Hollywood because you, you need to take public transportation to get there or dial a ride or some other way to get there, um, that's fine. And those will open October 30th. So <clears throat> if you choose, the county does have a plan so that you can vote safely in person. Um, so that concludes our presentation for tonight. I'm going to stop my share and get back to you guys. Um, so now we really wanted to leave um, a lot of time for questions because that's that's what the purpose of this was to address your concerns and what, what questions you have about this election. So we're going to open it up at this point. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Um, while we are waiting for questions, we do have some attendees. So if you uh, go to the Q&A um, little box uh, at the bottom of your screen or, or your phone, um, you can type in your question there and Robin will read it and we will answer it. Um, so while we're waiting for that, I just wanted to uh, mention a, a couple of key points from Melissa's um, presentation that uh, if you are wanting to uh, have your vote by mail ballot placed into a um, vote by mail drop box or taken to a vote center by someone else. Um, this is allowed, but there are rules, of course, surrounding that. Um, one rule is that the person who is taking your vote by mail ballot will have to complete the very top of the return envelope, placing their name and information on there, stating that um, they are the person who has returned the ballot. Um, Thank you, Mayor. That very top line there, um, saying that they are they have been authorized to return the ballot for the voter. So make sure that they fill that out. Secondly, make sure that it's someone you know. Make sure that it's a friend or family member um, uh, or neighbor. You know, someone that you um, are familiar with that you know that you trust. Um, I liken it to if you wanted to have someone deposit a check into your bank account for you or do some sort of um, personal errand for you you would only allow someone that you know and trust to do that for you. So treat your ballot like um, a $50,000 check or <laughs> that you want them to deposit into your account. Um, yeah, that much. Um, <laughs> so that was one thing. And then um, 
when Melissa was speaking about uh, the safety protocols that have been implemented by the county registrar for vote centers, they have conducted several smaller elections um, since COVID-19 hit. So um, they do have some practice in making sure that the machines are wiped down, um, that there aren't as many machines as there were in, in March because they have to be um, six feet apart. Um, so they've had a little bit of practice. Um, and then thirdly, transportation. So um, we, as a city, we always work with our social services um, division to make sure that we have the city line available and dial a ride available for those who want to vote. So the city line will be running and dial a ride is available to those who need it um, to take you to there's um, right now there's three um, vote centers in uh, West Hollywood. There is a stop right in, right in front of the vote center at Plummer Park Fiesta Hall. So that's very easy to um, access. And then the other two, there's a stop at or near um, those uh, vote centers. So be sure to always go to lavote.net to find the vote center near you um, and make a plan to vote. So we wanna just drive that home if you are um, uh, wanting to participate by going to a vote center. Um, so now, um, while we are, oh, we do have a question. Um, Robin, take it away. Sure. Uh, so we have a question, and it is, if you're a West Hollywood resident and want to vote in person, there's only one location to vote in person? No. So um, Plummer Park is the location that the city has entered into agreement with the county registrar, but there are private entities that can enter into an agreement as well, such as those listed by Melissa, the Rose Bowl, the, um, you know, Dodger Stadium. So in West Hollywood, there are two others, and I, I don't want to misquote them, but I believe it's the Iranian American Iranian American facility, and then um, the Lapeer Hotel. Um, and so the best way to find out exactly where at these facilities, because at the hotel, where at the hotel, where at the um, Iranian facility, um, go to lavote.net, put in your address, and the I think the top five nearest you will pop up. Um, and so beginning October 30th through November 2nd, the West Hollywood vote centers will be open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then on election day, November 3rd, they will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And there was another question in there. There is. Um, if you are inactive or if you are an inactive voter and you don't register, can you still vote? I want to say yes, um, because when you go to a vote center, they are connected to the county registrar's um, database uh, with all of our voter registration information. Um, so when you go there and give them your name, you, they can reactivate you at that time. The, there may be some steps uh, to do that, but you will be able to cast your ballot that day. And if you've never registered to vote, you can register at the same time and vote at the same time. Um, we have on, you know, it's, it's uh, same day registration, same day voting. So um, you don't have to worry that, oh no, I forgot, or I was out of town or I was um, ill. Um, a lot of people aren't, aren't feeling well um, right now. There's a lot of uh, things going on. And so you may not be able to physically do anything until a couple of days before election, um, that election day. So uh, remember, you can go into a vote center with your mask, with your gloves, um, and register to vote and vote the same day. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we have a couple more questions here. Uh, my ballot doesn't have a voting location address. Does that mean there isn't one particular place I vote anymore? You wanna answer that one, Melissa, or? Um, that's correct. So there are no longer, um, cities aren't broken up into precincts and then you go down the street where you voted in someone's garage for the last 20 years, we've gone to the vote center model. And so the reason that um, California decided to go to that model and Los Angeles County specifically is, I'll use myself as an example. I live in Santa Clarita. I work in West Hollywood. So election day, I'm a permanent vote by mail voter, but let's say I wasn't. And so on election day, you know, I would have to be racing home to get to the garage down the street from my house to try to vote. 
that day um, or, you know, Taliban and it's the day after a council meeting. Oh, by the way, I can't come in for a few hours because I'm going to go vote. So this way I could go to the Plummer Park Vote Center while I'm at work on my lunch break and vote that day because it's still in Los Angeles County. So that was the thought. You could vote next to your children's school. You could vote next to your work. If you're out on a Saturday going to Target for the day and you're like, oh, there's a vote center right here. You can vote right then and there. So that was the thinking behind that was, let's not keep it to one day. Let's allow people the option um, of 11 days in certain instances and give them the ability to vote anywhere in Los Angeles County and not just this one place. Because if you recall, if let's say your polling location was that garage, but for some reason they weren't a polling location and you had to go somewhere else, um, you would have to vote provisionally if your name wasn't on the roster for that polling location. So in, in an effort to reduce the number of provisional ballots that the county is dealing with um, and to give voters more choices and more days and um, more time, we went to the vote center model. So um, we, as, as elections officials, we like it. We think it's a good idea. It gives, it gives voters more choices. It hopefully allows more people to vote or encourages more people to vote. So um, it's, it's a good, we think it's a good thing. It's just going to take people some time to get used to doing it that way. Thank you, Thanks, Melissa. Melissa. There's also, a, um, I know that there's another um, question in the chat, but there's also one in the Q&A area. Mm -hmm. Robin, do you want to read that one? Sure, yes. Um, if you are a West Hollywood resident, but out of town temporarily, can you request your ballot be sent to a different address outside of the county of LA? Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> this happens. Um, sorry, um, people know that they're going to be out of town um, and want to make sure that they are still able to vote. So um, you can have your vote by mail ballot mailed to a different um, place other than your address. Our mayor uh, talked about that earlier. She had her uh, vote by mail ballot um, mailed to a different uh, location where she knew she would be able to access it. Um, so yes, you can request um, a, a, a new vote if you've already gotten yours and you um, and it's sitting at home and you're not there, you're in Milwaukee somewhere, um, you can request another ballot um, and you should do that as soon as possible. Um, they will void that ballot that they sent you, so it will not be counted, um, and they will send you a new ballot to the mailing address. As long as you have your um, physical residence address as part of your voter registration, you can ask that your ballot be mailed to a PO box or to your parents' home or to um, somewhere you know that you're going to be during election time. Um, so that was a good question. Thanks for, for bringing that up. Yeah, such good information. Um, okay, well, I have to show an ID in order to vote. And what if my ID doesn't have my correct information? No, you do not have to show an ID in order to vote um, unless it's your very first time voting and it's a presidential election. So if this is your very first time voting, they may ask you to, um, if you go to a vote center um, for your ID. Um, if there's an issue with your ID information not matching uh, the information that they have, it's your registration. So it's not necessarily the address that you have on your um, driver's license or your ID. It's your 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 residence that you put on your um, voter registration form. If you have since moved, um, you can update it <laughs> right on the spot. Hopefully you still live in LA County and you can vote right on the spot. Um, if you don't live in LA County, then that will be an issue because you would have to go to the county in which you live to vote. Um, but if you're showing up at a vote center in LA County, I'm assuming you would still live here. So you would just update your voter registration uh, information, which is wonderful that you can do that on the spot and uh, cast your ballot right then. Awesome. Uh, since there are so many new ways to vote, uh, when do you think we will have accurate results for the election? <laughs> I can tackle that one if you want, Melissa, you could take the next one. I was just looking at this um, because as a city clerk, we have to bring an item to council to certify our election and to swear in the newly elected council members. Um, and if there's any measures on the ballot to uh, give the results to that. So the county is looking, the county has 30 days to um, count all of the ballots 
certify um, that the election um, uh, has been uh, completed in that sense and provide uh, all of the jurisdictions with the results. Um, the Los Angeles County is looking to complete that on November 30th. So they're thinking that they can do it before the 30 day mark um, so that uh, clerks can put something on the first meeting in December um, to have uh, each jurisdiction certify their uh, results and swear in their newly elected members. Um, so hopefully um, for our local elections, it will be pretty easy. I can't speak to the federal. <laughs> um, Luckily, I'm the city clerk for West Hollywood, so we, we will hopefully have our results and be moving forward and let the other things play out as they will. <laughs> Thank you, Madam City Clerk. Uh, that was the last question. Great. Um, I wanted to give um, Rocio and Tatiana an opportunity to um, give some information in Spanish and Russian. Um, basically a lot of the things that we've been talking about now, but making sure that everyone has those dates, those locations, um, and all that information so that they can make their plan to vote. Um, so we'll start with Rocio. Thank you. Okay, so in este anuncio importante sobre la elección municipal general en la ciudad de West Hollywood, el último día para registrarse para votar automáticamente recibir una boleta por correo es octubre 19. Si es, si le pasa esa fecha, puede ir a cualquier centro de votación, registrarse y votar el mismo día. El centro de votación localizado en el Parque Plummer Park Vista Hall abre el, a, a, octubre 30, del 30 de octubre hasta el noviembre 2, de las 10 de la mañana hasta las 7 de la noche y en noviembre 3, de las 7 de la mañana hasta las 8 de la noche. Las razones para depositar su balota por correo están localizadas en el Parque Plummer Park y la Biblioteca de West Hollywood y en el Ayuntamiento de West Hollywood. Para localizar un centro de votación o buzón para depositar su balota, visite a www.weho.org barra inclinada e l e c t I -O -N -O -W 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 -L -A -V -O -T -E N E T. Gracias. Thank you, Rocio. Tatiana? Yes. Just, um, добрый вечер. Последний день регистрации для голосования 19 октября 2020 года. Если вы не успели зарегистрироваться до 19 октября, вы можете прийти в любой центр голосования и проголосовать в тот же день. В центр голосования Фиеста Холли Пламер Парка откроется 30 октября и будет работать до выборов по следующему расписанию с 30 октября до 2 ноября с 10 часов утра до 7 часов вечера и 3 ноября с 7 часов утра до 8 часов вечера. Специальные почтовые ящики для бюллетеней расположены в Пламер парке около библиотеки Западного Голливуда и около мэрии города. Воспользуйтесь следующими страницами интернета, если вам надо найти центр голосования в других районах или почтовый ящик для бюллетеней. Эти а, страницы www.com weho.org forward slash elections или www.lavote.net. Thank you. Thank you, Rocio. Thank you, Tatiana. It's so important that we make sure we are getting the information to our Spanish speaking residents, our Russian speaking residents. Um, we want to make sure everybody knows what they need to do um, to make sure that their voice is heard and their vote counts. And I love that WeHo in any language is WeHo. <laughs> love hearing that West Hollywood, <laughs> Plummer Park, Fiesta Hall. So it's, I loved hearing that. Um, and for uh, those who need information in Spanish and Russian, you can go to www.weho.org forward slash elections, um, and you can uh, view a fact sheet um, on everything 
uh, general municipal election um, in English, Russian, and Spanish. And thank you to um, our staff members. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Rocio, um, Hernan Molina, who helped to translate um, a very lengthy fact sheet to make sure that everybody had all of the information that they need. Um, I also wanted to, um, we'll also have the uh, city line and dollar right information on our website as well, um, so that people can utilize that. Um, so I'm looking to see if there are any other questions. Um, there aren't yet. Um, is there something else that you'd like to add, Melissa, before we, um, or while we're waiting for other questions? Uh, no, just our office is always available. My email address is um, mcrowder at weho.org. Yvonne is available at yporker at weho.org. Um, we are available anytime to answer voting related questions or any other questions you may have regarding the city council or our agenda packets, but specifically election related. Um, Yvonne and I are always available to answer questions. Um, even if you call into City Hall, those calls are forwarded to us or to any other staff member to whom they pertain, and we can answer any questions that you may have. We have been getting a lot of questions because as the mayor stated at the beginning, there is a lot of misinformation that's being circulated about vote by mail voting. Um, there are illegal drop boxes being placed in various locations. Um, so we are always a resource to give you accurate information about how you can vote November 3rd or how you can vote in any election. Um, and we encourage you to reach out to your local elections officials if you happen to be on this call and you aren't in West Hollywood or even to reach out to Yvonne and I and we will answer questions um, for you because we want you to vote and we want you to know that voting is secure and that elections officials take their role in voting very seriously. Um, and so voting by mail is safe. People have been doing it for a very long time. Um, the United States Postal Service is committed to making sure that your ballots get to where they need to be. Um, cities are putting in vote by mail drop boxes so that people do feel safe and have a place to put those who don't want to go to a vote center. Um, and vote centers are going to be sanitary so that you can vote. Um, and please get out and vote. Um, it's, a, it's your right. It, it makes our democracy what it is. And um, it's one of the things Yvonne and I bonded over when we first started in our roles is we love elections. And at the local level and when we did standalone elections on our own, it's, it's the closest you can really get to that democratic process. And um, so please uh, reach out if you have questions, concerns, anything, we're always available. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to add that, yes, we did bond over elections. I'm a person who um, loved to go to the polling uh, locations. I would take my kids with me. And when they got old enough to vote, they already knew what to do. Um, and so I, I take this very seriously. I'm the elections official for the city of West Hollywood. And I've been making it my business to um, as our mayor said, uh, I've been bugging the county registrar. Um, they're probably tired of hearing from me, but they always thank me for uh, making sure that I'm engaged, but um, not only attending meetings to talk about vote centers, uh, voter accessibility, but attending um, other organizational meetings, the future of California elections. They have meetings to talk about how to engage with your community. Um, and I, I wanna also again, thank our mayor. She um, is actively involved in many things and is always passing on information on ways that we can make sure we're um, conducting meaningful outreach. I don't want to just, you know, uh, mail a bunch of letters or uh, you know, send a bunch of emails that may just go into um, email land, um, but we wanted to do things like we're doing now. Um, we normally try to have uh, uh, fun outreach uh, events where we go to uh, the farmer's market um, or we'll pop a tent up somewhere and um, engage our residents and have uh, great little tchotchkes and, and treats um, uh, just to make sure that we have conversations because uh, it's very easy to register to vote. Um, I, I saw um, a, a lot of um, uh, 
commercials and ads talking about to register to vote and it takes you know five to seven minutes um, to register but it's what you do after after you register we want you to get out and vote we want to make sure that your voice is heard that's what takes action um, you have to now you can do it at home but you can either do it at home or get out and make sure that you um, cast your ballot um, I also wanted to just make sure that people um, understood about the vote by mail box drop boxes um, we did get a couple of calls and I, I have a uh, flyer here that I got from the county registrar um, to answer some of the questions that people have about the drop boxes, um, that they are bolted securely into submit, cement and, or chained in place. So they can't just be picked up and, and taken away. They are designed within um, the required security of features uh, identified in state regulations. There is a whole section in the state code now talking about vote by mail ballot drop boxes. Um, they have an exterior coating to reduce permanent graffiti or damage. Um, we have entered into a contract with the county registrar to have drop boxes in our city uh, for five years. So it won't just be for this election, but it will be for every election. You'll have the opportunity to uh, vote uh, by dropping your uh, ballot in the box. Um, we don't know when this pandemic will uh, end and we want all of our residents to be safe. Um, so my office, um, as the city clerk, I'm encouraging people to vote by mail, uh, whether you drop it off in the mailbox, whether you drop it off um, in the vote by mail drop box. Um, but if you choose to go to a vote center, be safe. Melissa went down the list of precautions and protocols that the county registrar has put into place. Um, and we just want you to know we're here for you. If you have questions, my name is there, Yvonne Corker. Um, you can email me at y Porker, first initial, last name, at weho.org, um, and I'll be happy to assist you. You do not have to be a resident of the city of West Hollywood to get basic election information, so um, we're here for you. And with that, um, Mayor, would you like to have final remarks? Sure. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? It is the 100 year anniversary of the 19th Amendment and women exercising our right to vote. We know that it took some time for all women to be included actively in what that amendment has meant to our Constitution. Um, but it's important to make sure that everybody's getting out to vote. We know that um, I recently participated in a get out the vote campaign uh, focused on our LGBTQ plus community and um, register registration rates have been really low and active participation has been really low. And so we're doing all that we can to make sure that people know um, it's really easy to register. You can go online. It's very quick to do. Um, they'll send a ballot to your house. It doesn't get much easier than that. When you get the ballot, you can drop it in the mail. You can drop it at a drop box. You can bring it to a vote center. Um, I mean, there's a, there trying to think of all the ways to make it as easy as possible for your voice to be heard. Uh, we know that there are a lot of things that are going on each and every day in your lives and that this pandemic is not helping make it any easier. Um, so we're doing all that we can to keep it easy. And, you know, I'm, I'm concerned by the reports that I hear about all the things going on. I'm happy to report we do not have fake ballot collection boxes in our city. Um, those have not manifested in West Hollywood and we are keeping an eye out to make sure everybody's ballot stays safe. There are rules governing how these ballot boxes, um, these drop boxes um, can exist. And um, there are very harsh penalties for people who do not uh, abide by the law. So um, we're doing all that we can to keep your ballot safe and to protect this election. But um, I just can't thank everyone enough who participated today. Thank you to all of our staff. Um, you've done an outstanding job. And I, I know that you continue to communicate with people every day about this. I'm one of them emailing you all the time about all the things that I'm hearing and seeing to make sure that we're on the lookout because um, this election is so important. So thank you all for participating and for um, all that you've done uh, to make this possible. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Melissa, Rocio, Tatiana, Robin. Thank you again for your time. Um, and I think that's the end of our webinar, informational webinar. I don't see any other questions. Hopefully we've answered them all for you. But again, if you have any of them, um, www.weho.org forward slash elections or lavote.net. And um, happy voting, make a plan to vote. Just remember to vote. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night.